Hello, everyone. I want to uh, uh, congratulate everyone on a successful test one. Uh, that's one out of four tests. You're a quarter of the way through this set of data points. Test two will be coming up very soon. Um, but I wanted to remind you, having just sat down and graded um, uh, your discussion posts and uh, and so forth, um, some some issues, you know, some things that you need to do to uh, to to make sure you don't fall behind. Okay. Um, the first. The first um, point I would make is there are three, again, let's review this because some of you are ignoring large you know, blocks of material, okay? You must do the quizzes and most people are doing those. You must do the tests and most people are doing those, okay? There is a third component that is due every other week. And those are discussions. You have to complete those, and you have to complete them in a timely manner. And I've said this before, if you don't, you're going to get a zero. Many of you are just kind of ignoring this or not doing anything. They're not open, you know, in, you know, uh, uh, for you to do at your convenience. They, they must be done within the week. They're up for, they're up for uh, uh, the week of. Now, if you look here, okay, um, let's look at this, for example, okay, on October 7th, Chapter 7 is due. Uh, on October 7th, the quiz for Chapter 7 ends. Um, on October 14th, the, the, chat, the discussion for Chapter 7 and 8 ends, okay? Okay, notice that that's two weeks, okay? So every week you have a quiz. And every two weeks, you have a discussion. Uh, the tests are also there. You, it's your responsibility, please, to look and see on the calendar, right, when the upcoming tests, discussions, and quizzes are. Now, they're not available for the entire semester. They're not available for you to do you know, when you get around to them, they're time sensitive, which means if you don't do them by the due date, you get a zero and they go offline. Okay. Many of you are not doing the quizzes. Um, I mean, the discussions. Let me show you an excellent example of a discussion post. Um, I'm going to go down here. Okay. To, um, uh, this this idea, okay, uh, five and six discussion, and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go down to. Uh, I want to go down to. Let's see here. Um, Kendra gave a pretty good, um, a pretty good discussion and response. Let's take a look at Kendra's. Okay, thank you, Kendra, for your your great work. See, uh, she's posted an excellent. Um, it's not a picture of Biggie Smalls. Anyway, no, I, I digress. Um, that's awesome if it is. Okay. Uh, and I'm not just trying to be an old guy trying to be hip. I'm not a big fan. Okay. Um, stigma is defined as a mark of disgrace that's associated with a particular circumstance. This is as good a definition, a solid a definition as any. Okay. Um, it, it applies to uh, elder, the elderly. Okay, uh, and then uh, you know, uh, okay, and then and then criminals tend to be repeat offenders. She talks about recidivism, um, and and she talks about how you know labeling theory works. Okay, um, and she she basically um, you know uh, gives us a good overview of the of the um, of, of the, uh, the the topic. Okay, and she hits the high points. Um, I'm not really concerned. Uh, let's see. Where's another? Where's another excellent? Um, let me let me give you an example of um, Gabriel comes up with a great example of stigma versus labeling theory too. Okay. 
Um, you know, labeling theory is defined as the idea that crime and all their forms of rule breaking result not so much as from what people do, as how others respond to these actions. Again, this is a fine a post, and he he um, you know, there are responses. You you can't see them here, but he he, I can see them if you do them. Um, Gabriel also provided um. Uh, you know, and I'm not going to put them up uh, because it would reveal grades and I'm not going to violate, a, that's a violation of a federal law. But Gabriel also uh, po meaningfully posted to one or two of his classmates. So the expectation for the discussion, uh, and many of you did posted some good solid posts, but you didn't respond to your classmates. You have to, you have to post a post and respond to a couple of your classmates, okay, to get full credit. I've been um, generous in that if you posted one solid response to another classmate, you, you got you got full credit. But but really, technically, you're supposed to post two. But um, Gabriel, uh, Mr. Sesse, did indeed post two uh, re really good responses. Okay, you need to keep this in mind. Uh, you know, as you move forward for this class, you know, I'm, you're going to get, you, you know, I'm going to have to, I don't like giving people zeros and then having you come and trying to negotiate or telling me that you didn't, you know, there, you didn't uh, um, understand. Um, it's clear from the calendar that that's, this is the expectation for the class. So please, please. If, if you, you know, you might have missed one or two data points, you know, moving forward, you know, uh, from the discussions, take full part in the discussions. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, they're not optional. You know, you, you don't get, you, this is not a, you choose which, what you want to be graded on or not kind of a class. You're graded on these three key components. And we've discussed this before. So. Follow uh, Mr. Sesay's example, post a solid uh, initial post and uh, uh, res a, a response to your classmates on their posts, okay? And you're going to be fine, right? Uh, I'm, you know, I guarantee you that, you know, you'll, 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 you'll do well if you do that. It shows me not so much, I'm not grading so much on, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, if you, if you take a stab at it and you get it, close to being correct well a-okay right but you don't have like an unlimited amount of time you notice that uh um gabriel posted this on the 30th okay that was well within uh the due date right so you know these 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 discussions go offline too so you can't just decide well i think i'll do those and catch up no no that's not that's not the terms that we agreed to when you read the, the syllabus uh, and and um, you know, posted you know you know and, and you began this class you know you were responsible for knowing the terms of when the assignments are due. Now that said, um, because of some of the technological limitations of desire to learn Brightspace. Sometimes your grade won't be visible to you, so please, let, uh, you know, I'll try to uh, give you a grade report. This is a function of the way um, the, 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 the software for Desire to Learn is set up and not some emission on my part. Um, please communicate with me if you can't see a grade uh, and it's... And it's um, and, and you want to know, and I'll be happy to report it to you. I don't know why this is. Um, it seems to be a limitation that's been imposed uh, as of late, and I'm not uh, uh, thrilled with it. But um, just please follow up and re-review the syllabus if you have any if you have any questions about uh, the timing of all this. Thanks, and have a great week.